Hi, and welcome back to Alt Baking Bootcamp. I'm Mia Rigdon, nutritionist, chef, and the founder of Rasa. Today, we're going to be making a brownie trifle. This dessert is perfect for holiday entertaining. It's really simple to make and super delicious. So our brownie trifle today has seven different layers with four different components. Of course, we've got our brownie layer, and then we're gonna do a chocolate avocado mousse, a layer of whipped cream, then some raspberry jam, just to kind of tang it up a little, another layer of brownies, chocolate mousse, whipped cream, and then we'll top it with some chocolate shavings, maybe a little raspberry garnish, and serve. So we're gonna start by baking off our brownies. And today we're gonna be using Simple Mills Almond Flour Brownie Baking Mix. I love using this baking mix for the holidays because it uses almond flour and coconut sugar to make a much more nutritious base for our trifle. So first things first, we're gonna whisk in our avocado oil and our water. So this is half a cup of avocado oil. Here we have a little bit of water. So we're just gonna whisk this together. And then we're gonna crack two eggs. Now we just dump in our brownie mix. It's really that simple. Just pouring my brownie mix in here. I love that this brownie mix already has the chocolate chips in it. Mix this all together. So I'm just gonna transfer the brownie batter into the baking dish. Spread it out evenly on a thin layer. So I've already got my oven set to 400 degrees. I'm gonna bake these brownies for 18 to 22 minutes, and then I'm gonna leave them out to cool. And so while we're baking and cooling our brownies, we can make our chocolate avocado mousse and our raspberry jam. So we've got two avocados, we've got a cup and a half of non-dairy milk, we're using almond milk today, some chia seeds, a little bit of maple syrup to amp up the sweetness, and then we're using a package of chocolate chips. So first I'm going to pour our almond milk into the blender. And I'm gonna get my chocolate chips melting. All right, I just melted these chocolate chips in the microwave. I'm just gonna give them a little stir, make sure that it's all completely melted. Now we're just gonna cut our avocados, make sure they're nice and ripe. Avocados are actually a great plant-based source of omega-3 fatty acids. When using avocados in a chocolate mousse, it lends that creamy consistency. All right, so now we have our chia seeds, another great source of fiber, and then just a tad of maple syrup. And then, of course, our chocolate. So now we're just gonna blend this up. All right, so we've got our brownie layer cooling. We've got our chocolate mousse ready to go. Now we just need to make this raspberry jam and then we can assemble. So this is a super simple recipe and I use this for more than just trifles, but it's just two cups of raspberries and then some chia seeds, just a little water. And that's it, just super simple, no sugar added, raspberry chia jam. All right, so now comes the fun part. We're gonna assemble our trifle. So our brownie layer is nice and cooled. We cooked these for about 20 minutes. I just kind of use my hand to break them apart, get it in there. Since we've got two layers of brownies, you're gonna be using half of the brownies for the first layer and we're gonna do our chocolate mousse layer. So you wanna mound the chocolate mousse in the middle and then slowly work your way out. So again, we've got two layers of the chocolate mousse, so you're gonna be using about half for the first layer. Okay, so this is actually 
two cartons of a frozen non-dairy whipped cream, which you can find at any grocery store. So again, we're gonna use about half of it here. Use the spatula. All right, great. And now we've got our raspberry jam. I love a raspberry chocolate combination. Just think that it gives it that nice freshness. Love those clean edges. All right, so now we're gonna stack another layer of our brownies. When doing the brownie layer, I like to work from the outside in and then just kind of fill in the gaps like a puzzle. Last little bit there. All right, back to the chocolate mousse. Now we just top it off with the rest of our whipped cream. So we've got our seven layers. Each layer is thick enough that it really gets its own moment here on the trifle dish. Sprinkle our chocolate all over. Ooh. I'm gonna grab a mint sprig. And there you have it. There's your brownie trifle. So I took a nice big scoop out of my trifle here and I cannot wait to try it. This is going to be my go-to dish for holiday entertaining. Gotta make sure to get every layer in each bite. Wow. Despite the healthy ingredients, these Simple Mills brownies go so well with the chocolate mousse and the coconut whipped cream is refreshing. And then that raspberry jam gives it a nice little tang and you know a hint of extra sweetness. And this is just so delicious. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of Alt Baking Bootcamp. I can't wait to see how your brownie trifles turn out. So you can find this recipe in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to Well & Good's YouTube page so you don't miss an episode of Alt Baking Bootcamp. Thank you.